I'm standing. standing. I'm standing. I try to stand as much as I can. Why? Uh, I, you know what? It actually is better on my back, but that keeps me more alert. But, you know, keeps you active. That's true. Active standing. Okay, good. Anyway, okay, we learn as we go along. So we've got lots of social media to contact us. Thank you so much for being here You're today. Welcome. Any of you guys, I love you. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and back because she's a life coach and life coaching really spills in. Okay, this has been so fun. Thanks, Lunch and Learners. We'll be back. I'll be back next Monday. Um, I'll be back again. Yeah, I'm we'll, in. We'll do this again. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Thanks a lot, everybody. See ya. Bam. And Claire got an arm workout because that is an arm workout, isn't it? Behind the scenes. Oh, Amanda. So Amanda always hides. And look at that beautiful woman over there, right? Hi, ladies. <laughs> so Chris, tell us about why you created Get Healthy You. I mean, I've just always been into fitness and I've always enjoyed helping people. Helping people find that um, euphoria with fitness and understanding how it can change so many aspects of your life. It, it changes your confidence, the way you feel, the way you look, the way you act, how you present yourself, how you stay organized throughout the day, how you parent, how you are a friend, all that stuff. So I've just been passionate about it and when, you know, I started in the exercise industry before there were computers. There were no computers, there was no internet. So once that all came into fruition, I got really interested in websites because I thought, what an interesting way to be able to reach a larger audience, a more national audience. And so that's how I developed chrisfrytag.com, which then became gethealthyu.com and the letter U. And the reason I changed the name was because I have this amazing team and I'm like, I'm that person who's like out there chit chatting and I'm very extroverted, but I always like really feel like I want to give thanks to my team. They're so awesome. I have these wonderful ladies who work with me and I felt like I didn't want it to be my name. I wanted it to be a brand where they got credit too because we work together as a team to try to disseminate as much information about health, fitness, lifestyle, recipes, everything as we can um, out there. And it's, it's not just me. Why are you so passionate about fitness and, and why do you do what you do? Well, I started in college as um, a journalism major because when I told a college counselor that I wanted to, that I liked fitness, you know, they asked you, well, what are you interested in? And I said fitness, and they said, well, it was 1983. They said, that's not a career. It wasn't. It actually wasn't back then. Mm -hmm. So um, I chose journalism, which ended up being, you know, my asset in the long run. I'm very happy that I did that. But fitness wasn't really a thing for women back then um, in terms of careers. So. I got I got my journalism degree, but I always exercised during college, which, you know, back in the 80s, women didn't exercise a whole lot, much less in college, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. People were too busy doing other things, and there were no health clubs. We would go running outside um, and do things like that. Really, you know, that way, and, and the thing about running that happened for me was it was not a weight loss program by any means. I had a girlfriend that became my running partner, and we found it was euphoric. Like we didn't even understand what, um, you know, what uh, endorphins were. We didn't even know that there were these hormones that could release in your body and make you feel happy. But we felt amazing when we went running. Our heads cleared. We felt stronger. We felt happier. Um, and so that's how I kind of started. And then uh, dance aerobics was born in those 70s and 80s, and I kind of got hooked on dance aerobics. And then it was all over. That became my passion. After that, who won your legacy to be? Um, let's see, that's a really good question. I never think about that. That's a good question. I would say definitely that I helped people. Um, you know, I feel like if someone could say, hey, she changed my life, which I get that from people a lot. I, I met a guy just last week in Atlanta. I was traveling and he was really shy and he came up to me. I was at a fitness conference and he said, hey, I want you to know I lost 67 pounds doing your workouts um, many years ago. He was using my 10 pound slim down program, which is 10 years old. And he came up and told me his whole story. And it's like, are you kidding? I don't even know the guy, you know? And it was just such a great story. That makes me feel really good. So if, if, if my legacy could be that, like, she had this undying energy and wanted to help people all the time, that would make me feel awesome. All right, bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you both so much for coming all the way out here. Thank you. See you soon. <laughs> okay.